In this short video, we're going to look into copying objects from one Boolean cluster to another. Here we have a rotor of some sort sitting in a cradle. The cradle has a surface that matches tightly the shape of the rotor. If we move the cradle away, we can see this surface clearly. The object responsible for this surface in the Boolean cluster of the rotor was copied into the Boolean cluster of the cradle and used there to carve out the hole in the block. Now let's take a closer look at the Boolean cluster of the rotor. We open the Modeling Tools panel, the Boolean tab, and press E over the rotor to activate it for editing. This cluster consists of five objects. Let's select the three ellipsoid outside body trims here. They are responsible for these curved cutouts. If we delete them, what remains is really simple. The surface we are interested in comes from this object, the Hyperrod primary. This is the object we want to copy into the Cradle cluster. Let's now revert to the original file. and let's delete the cradle. We're going to create it from scratch. Select the bool tool in the edit panel, right click on the box in the library and choose place at world center. Create new boolean cluster from the dropped objects? Yes. That's why we selected the bool tool. Now enlarge the box by using uh, global scale. Also increase its depth and move it downward. Now the Cradle cluster is ready to receive the copied object. Press E over the rotor cluster to activate it for editing. Here again is its list of objects. We are interested in the Hyperrod primary. First of all, right-click on it in the list and choose Duplicate Object in Place, because we want this object to remain in the rotor cluster too. Duplicate Boolean objects into the new cluster? No. Let the duplicate remain in the old cluster. And here it is, the duplicate. Now right-click on it and choose Clear Boolean Roles. This is important, because we are about to move this object to another cluster which is not activated for editing at this stage. Depending on the object's boolean role, the object itself or the cluster we are moving it to might completely disappear as a result. It's much safer to set the boolean role after the destination cluster is activated for editing. Here's our duplicate hyperrod, now with the undefined boolean role. Note that it is selected. Now let's move this object to the cradle cluster. Right-click on the Cradle in Workspace and choose Boolean Clusters, Add Selected to Clicked. Nothing happened in, in Workspace. An object with an un undefined Boolean role, highlighted here in yellow, looks the same regardless of which Boolean cluster it belongs to. However, it disappeared from the list here. We are now done with the, uh, with the rotor cluster. Let's press E to deactivate its edit mode. Now press E over the cradle to activate this cluster for editing. And here it is, our hyperrod with undefined boolean role in this cluster's list. Let's select it. Now it's safe to set its boolean role. An active cluster is not going to disappear no matter what boolean roles you choose. At the very least, you'll see the wireframes. Right-click and choose Outside Body. That's the role that leaves only what's outside of the sidewall of the hyperrod. We can see the effect clearly if we enlarge the object with global scale. Let's settle on something just slightly larger than the original size. Press E to deactivate editing, and here it is, our matching cradle. 